happy Tuesday. I am feeling much better. I am convinced it's allergies because every time I take an allergy pill, it goes away. Um, and the only time my throat is sore is in the morning after I know I have been up really congested. Um, I feel like maybe I need to take an allergy pill in the morning and one at night before I go to bed and see if that helps maybe me be able to breathe through the night because I'm feeling a lot better. I took my allergy pill about seven this morning um, once I got kind of got up and around and it's 9.30 right now and I'm feeling so much better. But like I said, my throat's just a little bit sore but I, it was really bad when I woke up this morning and I know I woke up a couple times last night just, you know, really super congested. So um, anyway, I, energy level, I have really good energy level and I think yesterday I just was running around like crazy in the morning. Um, I'm sorry yesterday's video kind of ended abruptly, but I mean, I got my meal prep in there <laughs> for you guys. Um, the rest of the day, I literally just um, sat around and did YouTube video prep. And I also was trying to work on um, different um, like intros and outros and thumbnails and things like that. So it was just a YouTube work day yesterday. I probably prepped for four of the eight videos. Um, whenever I do like informational videos, I like to kind of throw all my thoughts down on paper and then I type them up in my Google Docs and then that's what I'm reading, you know, kind of referring to when I'm doing the videos. So my plan is to finish doing that today, um, hopefully get the other videos done. And then that way on, cause tomorrow I have to run a bunch of errands. Tomorrow I have to, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be my errand day tomorrow because I want to pick up some bins so I can get my Christmas stuff reorganized this year. I've been wanting to do that for a couple years. This year I'm going to get it done. Uh, so I need to pick up a few bins to finish that. Today I'm packing up my kitchen stuff. I don't have a bin to put them in, so I'm just going to toss them in some boxes and bags and stuff that I have. And then when it comes time um, tomorrow, I can pack them up in bins. I'm really just wanting to do my kitchen stuff today is because that's the only way I can finish my kitchen organization is if I get it all done today. So I'm packing all that up. And then the rest of the day, I'm going to do what I did yesterday, just sit around and finish getting my YouTube work done. And then Thursday and Friday, <clears throat> my plan is to film all those videos. And then Saturday and Sunday, packing up Christmas and going back to work on Monday. So... Okay, I am drinking my coffee, and I have some of this unsweetened silk almond creamer with some of the vanilla skinny syrup. Also, starting next week will be more um, structured meals, and I will have more, you know, showing you what I eat and giving you meal ideas and things like that. So we'll be back to regular, regular programming next week. I actually have my entire month of January planned out for videos. Um, also, I want to be better about my Facebook group, so I have some things planned out for that. And also on Instagram, I just, I have a lot of goals. So that's the other video I need to plan for, my goals video. And my planner, I was gonna show you guys my planner and my goals video. So I need to add that one to the list. But right now, I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm a little bit hungry, but I think I'm just gonna gr drop, grab a cheese stick because I really want to get this organization done. So then the rest of the day, I don't have that on my mind. So let's go get into that. I want to show you how my kitchen is laid out in case you are new um, before I show you the organization. So the sink's right in the middle. And then we have the two sides over there. Sorry if my dishwasher is too loud. I thought it would be done by the time I do this. Um, one thing I'm recognizing after removing all of my coffee stuff that was right there, that it looks really bare. So I'm gonna try to find some more plants and stuff or something, just some, some de decor pieces to stick on the counter. So that will change, but this is about the organization. So first off, let's go ahead and start over on this side that I'm calling my cooking zone. Uh, so, you know, of course the oven and microwave is kind of the heart of that zone. So as I have been in this kitchen for the last few months, we moved here um, July 31st, I have been just trying to use things and see, you know, what feels natural. And this is what I feel like this has happened with this. This all feels natural now where I have everything organized. Um, over here, not really related to the cooking zone, is what I call my breakfast cabinet. Now you guys have seen this if you watch my daily vlogs. So 
as I clear a lot of this stuff out, I'm not repurchasing a ton of this stuff again, but it's just stuff that I have, things that have been sent to me, um, things that I've purchased, that kind of thing. But I call it my breakfast cabinet. It has my husband's cereal. He, ha he drinks Ovaltines, I have that. The peanut butters. I have syrups, the sugar-free syrups, regular syrups. We have oatmeal, that kind of thing. Down here is all like the protein powders and collagen. I have some keto chow back there. So this, this is kind of just, I'm gonna try to keep, you know, the breakfast area. So to me, naturally below that, I wanted to move my toaster over here. It was over there we'd, and the bread was over here, but my also I had an air fryer over here, which I'll show you where I moved that. So it just seemed natural to me to have like the peanut butter and things, you know, like if you're making toast, that kind of thing. It just seemed natural to have the toaster over here next to the bread. So I have my basket here, which I picked up at a um, thrift store years and years and years ago. <clears throat> so I just went ahead and put all of our bread in there. Um, English muffins, I have our tortillas in there, that kind of thing. I keep my keto bread in the refrigerator I, because I don't use it that often, so it just stays fresher in the refrigerator. So then I have my toaster here. I wanna get a plant or something to stick kind of over here, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for some kind of plants and stuff. Um, but anyway, so this is the, you know, kind of breakfast area. In this drawer, I didn't look at my drawer, so I'm hoping they're neat, <laughs> but I have like all of our plastic wrap. Again, because when everybody's making sandwiches, like I make my husband his sandwiches to take to work, it just makes makes more sense to have everything here. He usually takes peanut butter jelly or like some kind of lunch meat with, with the refrigerators right here. So I have everything in here. Plus when I'm cooking, <clears throat> oh, this is for the air fryer, so I'll probably move that. Um, you know, when I'm cooking, I have the foil, plastic wrap, parchment paper, all of that is over here to go right into the oven. And then this drawer, I just have cooking utensils before my pot holders were here. I will show you where I moved those, but I needed more space for just different cooking utensils that I don't have in my crock. Um, I'll show you my utensil crock. So <clears throat> this is just cooking utensils. Down in this cabinet, this one's always kind of been a mishmash of things, but now I've turned it into like my small appliances. All of these were in my breakfast bar before, which I've turned into my coffee station, which I'm still getting that organized. So um, I think I'll go ahead and put it in this video. I should get it all done by then. So I moved everything over here. So we have um, my smoothie maker, which makes sense because I have all my smoothie stuff here. So I have my <clears throat> blender for that. I have my big blenders back behind that. I have all my, um, what do you call those things? Cutting boards right there because I would grab them, put it on the counter and start chopping things. Um, my Instant Pot down there, my blender and all that is down there. My waffle maker is down there and my mini waffle maker and my big waffle maker, other waffle makers back there, and my colander for um, straining stuff. So it just makes sense that all of the small appliances are there. Cabinets above the microwave, which a lot of people may have trouble finding things to put in here. I keep my extra spices. So what I do, I'll show you my spice cabinet. I have my jars that is refill. So I try to buy these big ones or I have little ones that I've bought. And, um, there's some salt up here and those kind of things. So I didn't know what to keep in this cabinet. I didn't obviously didn't want something I had to reach for all the time because I can barely reach it. But I thought this is a great place for those spices um, to fill up. You can also put just put things up there like appliances you don't reach for all the time. That's a good spot for those. Let's go to these two cabinets to the right of the stove. Now again, because this is my cooking zone, I wanted to kind of keep everything in the area of what I cook. So here I have a lot of vinegars and oils. I have sesame oil. We have our coconut aminos, liquid aminos, all the different vinegars. I have rice, red, white, balsamic. And then I have spices here that, um, and actually this salt could probably go up on top of there. These are like mixed spices. So different like seasoning spices, ones that aren't, um, you know, just one type of spice. So that's what that is. And then I keep my everything bagel seasoning here, my apple cider vinegar. I also have my cooking coconut oil. So these are, this is like a butter flavor coconut oil and a garlic flavor. So I use those for cooking. That's why I wanted to keep those right here. So to me, it just made sense to have these. I grab for it constantly when I'm cooking because I tend, this tends to be my prep space for when I'm cooking dinner and lunches, those kind of things. So if I need that stuff, it's easy. I just open up these cabinets while I'm working and just, pull it all out. 
So right below this, I have my little area here again that I grabbed for cooking. I have a vinegar one. It's um, in the um, dishwasher right now. So this is my crock of tools. I have a few more that's in the dishwasher, but these are the tools I grab for constantly while, I'm, while I am cooking. So I keep those in this little utensil thing and I just like this little tray. So this is my pink salt here. I use that when I'm cooking. And then I just have a regular salt and pepper in these. And then like I said, the oil and vinegar. So those are right there where I can grab them. Paper tiles are right there where I could grab them while I'm cooking. And my toaster was over here. Now I just have my uh, can opener, which again, I needed my cooking zone for when I'm making dinner, need to open up cans. So I think I'm just gonna get a plant or something to put in the corner right there. I can't think of anything else. Also up here, in this little corner cabinet was my baking cabinet. Didn't make sense to have it over here because it, all my baking stuff was, oh, I didn't finish showing you the rest of this one. So I have, I have one other casserole dish. It's in the um, dishwasher right now, but these are the bowls I grab for when I'm cooking. So if I need, if I'm like tossing a salad together or some kind of pasta or something, these are the bowls that I use for that. I also use these same bowls when I'm baking. I don't have any separate bowls for that. Just makes sense to leave them here even though my baking cabinet's over on the other side, but these are just my all-purpose bowls and my casserole dishes. So I grab for these when I'm cooking, so it makes sense to have them in the cooking zone. And then up here, we just have different bowls and dishes, serving dishes. So again, when I'm cooking, if I want something to serve my you know dishes in, that's what's back there. I have some big ones way back there too. So um, that's what all this is. My frying pans are here. I have one more that's in the sink soaking from dinner last night. And then all my pots are in here. And I just keep the lids on top, just like this. I just put them upside down. That way they fit in the cabinet easily. So I just have my three different ones here. And those work really well, just having there. I can just grab them when I'm cooking. They were on the other side before and I would have to go across the room to grab them. So again, this just makes sense when I'm cooking. I just grab that and put them right on the stove. I don't have to walk across the room. Not that it's very big, but again, this is just making this more efficient for me. And as more for the cooking zone is my spice drawers. So I bought these spice things on Amazon. They came in a two pack. I actually bought two two packs. I wasn't sure what sizes I would need. And I'll show you where I put the other one. And then I have one I haven't used, but this is all my spices I use on a regular basis. I have a few more back there that I don't use very often, um, but I got these jars on Amazon and the labels came with the jars. So, um, but yeah, this is again, something I can just grab them really easily, throw them up on the counter when I need, put them back when I'm done. And you can see if I need to fill them up, like I know I need to refill my onion powder and my minced onion so I can see real easily what I need to refill. Down in this cabinet are my baking sheets and then my griddle that I got at um, Costco. So that's that rock, it's like a ceramic griddle you just stick right there on your um, stove top. So I have that down there and then just baking sheets for when I need to make dinner. This one is really nothing like it. I just throw my extra containers in here. I don't need this area. I'm actually working with my husband to, we're gonna work, maybe build some shelves in there and take out the Lazy Susan because I hate it. So, and it's all stained up and I can't get it clean or anything. So I think I'm gonna, like I said, I want this taken out and we're just gonna, we're trying to work on some kind of plan for that. But for now, it's just where my extra plastic containers go that I, don't use for anything. So I really never open this cabinet. And I moved my pot holders over here. So again, they're still in reaching distance of when I need to grab thing, something out of the oven, they're still right there. This is where I had my utensils, but it was getting really crowded and I'd have to dig for things that did not make sense. This down here, the last part of my cooking zone, these are like less reached for um, cooking utensils. So I don't use my mallet very often or my cheese grater or my zoodle maker um, or my potato peeler. I just don't use those things very often. Again, down there, I don't use those things very often. Those are just different choppers. I have my electric one, which I have down in my little appliance area. So these are just ones I don't use that often, but when I am, you know, I know that they're down there. And that is everything in the cooking zone. So that, that takes care of that zone. Um, sorry for the dirty dishes, real life. The cleaning zone, so I have my dishes and hand soap there. And then down here, we have trash bags, all my cleaning stuff, 
um, and then I keep which is everything is in the in the laundry right now to be folded I have my towels up here and my wash rags go down here so my kitchen rags go down here dish soap all of that stuff everything is here in this cleaning zone easy to grab and everything next area I kind of call my meal prep and dishes putting away zone I don't even know if that's a thing so we, my dishwasher is right here so when I want to put away dishes I wanted our you know most used dishes to be on this side that way it's easy to put everything away from the dishwasher I mean obviously I'm gonna have to you know go over here to put away casserole dishes and things like that but for the most part this is where everything is stored up in these areas that have to do with putting away dishes so let's go ahead and open this first one um, I have all my drink water enhancers and my main my drink cups that I use the most right here we have zip fizz and that kind of thing so it just made sense to have these right here I just didn't this is where I put my medicines before let me show you kind of my medicine cabinet right now this is our medicine cabinet right now so I just moved it to this side we don't have little kids so we don't have to worry about keeping everything super high up so I have all my water enhancers my water cups here and then these are just other water cups and um, these up there ones that were too tall to put anywhere so they're just more like thermoses water cups that kind of thing but this one down here has all my enhancers and all that stuff but this cabinet is where all of our dishes are so we have a very few dishes I purged dishes a long long ago so now I just keep two sets of bowls two sets of plates and that's it something fell behind me <laughs> so we have you know the plates here plus I have paper plates the rest of the plates are in the dishwasher obviously our bowls glasses wine glasses and then I have some plastic water cups and my husband actually uses those for milk and then he has this little he has to take a lot of medicine a day so he has his little cups there for water and then we have our big like pasta salad bowls and then we have our little like salsa bowls so when I'm putting away dishes literally everything just goes right there which is so nice this is the corner cabinet that my um, saucepans and um, like my pots and stuff were in so now since this is my baking area I moved all my baking stuff over here so we have like cake pans and pie plates and those kind of things up there all my um, different I have like mini muffin pans I have whoopie pie pans I have a brownie pan and then a cupcake pan and then just another sheet pan that I use just exclusively for baking and then in here we have um, what are those called measuring cups so the glass ones right there and some plastic ones then I have my food scale sifters I have some whatever you call those um, I don't remember what you call those and then I have bowls and another measuring cup there so because this is also part of my baking zone so this is kind of meal prep zone putting away zone and baking zone so when I'm doing meal prepping so speaking of meal prepping when I'm doing meal prepping I cook over on the other side and then I let everything cool off over here this is where I pack up my meal prep containers which I put down here in this lazy Susan so down here we have all of the meal prep containers so I have all of these and then down here I have a lot of glass ones which right now as you guys know if you watched yesterday's video you saw that I did some meal prepping so all of those are mostly in the refrigerator and the dishwasher right now then I have all my lids just contained in that little thing right there so this makes sense for me because I package up all my meal preps on this big counter here so I can just lay everything out but I can just grab the bowls really easily here and again once I take them out of the dishwasher they just go right there so that's really all for the meal prep zone and the kind of putting away zone oh I have one more meal prep area which is down there so I have all my glass mason jars all different sizes down there and then those are just extra jars that um, storage jars that I didn't really have anything to do with so that's what's all down there and this drawer I have nothing so I have to unless I have a whole drawer that I don't have anything in right now that will be come to use I'm sure at some point uh, so let me show you now the baking zone so I moved my air fryer over here this is a new one that was sent to me to review so I still have to do that um, but I figured it would be good over here because I could use it for baking stuff or for meal prepping stuff so I figured it made sense to be over here and then in this cabinet is my baking cabinet 
this used to be my coffee area so we have um, up there just some pie some glass pie dishes some little tart dishes some little ramekins then we just have the different things I have all my extracts there coconut oil baking soda baking powders anthem gum we have chia seeds flaxseed meal all that there then we just have all the different flowers in jars and and all of that so that is now my baking cabinet oh this is more of the putting away zone so the silverware goes here we have all of our different straws reusable straws there utility scissors steak knives these are the little things that go in protein um, containers so we have all of these dishwasher stuff here so then i mean dishes here so then when again when i'm putting the dishwasher everything just goes in there this cabinet is um more baking stuff so we have all the measuring spoons whisks um rolling pin the rubber spatulas we have like cookie scoops muffin scoops reusable muffin cups all those are here and these are i use one of those spice things these are just um exclusively like baking spices so we have cinnamon ginger cream of tartar pumpkin pie spice you know nutmeg all those kind of things and then we just have my little dishes i use when i'm filming videos and i put them all in different dishes that kind of thing so i have all those there and lastly in this drawer we have all of my chocolate chips and just extra so i have extra of the pure stevia i use for my coffee and for baking i have macadamia nut flour we just have extra flaxseed meal powdered sugar cocoa all those kind of things so this is kind of my just overflow of extras there i'm gonna cut in a little before shot of my pantry But this is my pantry. It was terrible before. Um, so this is what I did. So up here is like all the chips and crackers and things like that. My husband has his like mint peppermints there. I have some extra pot, um, coffee filters because I couldn't fit it over my coffee area. Here are cans. So I just have, you know, I have it kind of organized. We have beans and soup and tomatoes. And then I keep extra, like over here, I have some nuts back there that I could not fit in my like baking area. So I have um, slivered almonds, regular almonds, pecans, those kind of things. And then I just have an extra peanut butter and jelly that I could not fit down in here, but it works there. This section here is kind of like lunches for the family. And then I have condiments here. So these are backup condiments. So I have different salad dressings, sugar-free ketchup. Um, we have marinades, those kind of things are in there. Um, I didn't really have anywhere to put my croutons, so I just have them right there. But this is lunch stuff. So we have, back there also, we have like salad toppers. So you can't really see it because it's kind of dark in this area, but we have like bacon bits, seeds, those kind of things. Um, and this one, we have chicken, tuna, soups, like I said, lunch stuff. This kind of cupboard, or I mean section, I like to call my dinner section. So I put, label this dinner so nobody eats this stuff. <laughs> I have teenage boys. So I wanna use this stuff for dinner. So we just have, you know, baked beans, chili, sloppy joe mix. Obviously those things are not keto friendly. You guys know I live in a non-keto friendly home, but which is fine. And then I have um, different like mixes here. I make my own taco seasoning, but um, for the family sometimes when I'm just, or even for me, when it's really quick, I don't have time to make my taco seasoning. I like to have backup because we have a lot of tacos. So I always have a lot of backup. And then just like, different mixes are right there then we just have other dinner stuff so pasta salad pasta sal oh my gosh marinara sauce um curry sauce those kind of things we have broths back there and then that's where all the pastas are and then this one are my like, keto friendly snacks so i have pork rinds there we have beef sticks we have just different you know protein bars back there i have all the high key mixes so everything on this shelf is keto friendly. Down there I have um, different alcohol there and then the, my two air fryers go there. So I have one back there and one up here in the front. So there is my pantry. It came out so good and I'm very, very happy with it. So there you go. There is my kitchen organization and how I did the zones. Again, I don't know if that's a thing, but 
it works for me. You know, so we have our baking zone, a meal prep zone, putting away zone, cooking zone. I think I'm gonna still need to work on my coffee station, so I think I will show that to you guys in tomorrow's video. Just wanna make sure I have everything all put out and in a way that makes sense. So I have a lot of things to put away and organize over there. Um, but it's already 11.15, so I still need to sit down and I need to get all this stuff out in the garage that's on the table or we'll have nothing to eat dinner on. I hope you enjoyed this kitchen organization. Let me know if um, you have zones like this in your kitchen or if you are planning on doing something like this because I would love to see um, and hear your ideas. So you can actually go over and join my Facebook group and you can put pictures up there and I would love to see any organization that you guys have in your kitchen and especially like your countertop like again my countertop now is so sparse which i guess is nice because it looks clean and everything but i feel like i want more decor so um i would love to see your guys's oh hey i think i'm gonna do some more cleaning and i will check in with you guys um at lunchtime and dinner tonight i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that tamale pie tonight i was gonna do that last night but again i wasn't you know feeling up to eating anything so i think that'll be tonight's dinner is tamale pie and it'll be really super easy let me show you what i'm using okay i have that chili that i made the other day that i showed you guys in last week's meal prep video so i had some of that leftover that i put in the freezer so i have that thawing out and then i'm going to use this high key cornbread bread and muffin mix that I got off of Amazon when they did their like Cyber Monday 30% off sale on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and put this as the topping and I think that'll be perfect. Um, yeah. So the only thing missing really is usually you put like corn and tamale pie, but I think this will be amazing. Sorry these videos are kind of long this week, but I just wanted to show you guys all this organization stuff. So I probably keep it short and sweet the rest of this day and just show you lunch and dinner and I'll show you how I put this together because I don't think I'm going to do a whole separate like video on this. I'll just show it to you in today's um, video. Lunch today I'm going to have my meal prep I made. This is the spicy chicken with green beans, uh, broccoli, and a cauliflower mash. If you want to see how I made this, watch yesterday's video which will be linked down below. Time to put dinner together. I have this chili that I had in the freezer. I made this like two weeks ago on meal prep. I will link the video down below. Using this high key cornbread mix, you just need four large eggs and a half a cup of melted butter. And then you just mix it. It's two net carbs for a serving. And then we are just going to put all that into a bowl and mix it all up. And it looks exactly like cornbread. There's my chili in the casserole dish and the cornbread. So I'm just gonna put that on top. I've made tamale pie a ton of times, but I think I put too much chili in the bottom of this because it did not cook all the way. It looks beautiful when it came out of the oven. Look at this, looks beautiful, but it was not cooked in the middle. So I ended up kind of breaking up the top a little bit, putting it back in the oven and cooking it longer. And that did help a little bit, but it never did cook all the way through. So I would say put less of the chili on the bottom and more of the cornbread, because that's what I've done in the past and it's worked out perfectly. But I'll just tell you that cornbread tastes absolutely amazing. And I'm just sorry that. That I kind of that I'm I'm glad I got it on such a huge discount because it was not cheap but it is really good so I highly recommend that cornbread